Hello guys, this is Pradeep. Good morning all. So today I'm going to talk about uh, how to integrate Python with an UA path. So basically you need to have a Python installed in your system and if you have any developed uh, previous or uh, existing uh, code, you can get that and uh, we can integrate the same. So uh, today I have built some, uh, to have some built a simple sample project to extract uh, uh, other card details so and and have a dot py file so you can do the same so first thing first you need to install the map your path um, packages the python packages so see you can go to manage packages here and click on uh, search for python as you can see i have installed it you can install the same and click save and agree to all the licensing terms and conditions so now for the first thing you need to do drag a python scope activity so if you search it here python scope activity yeah so you 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 will be here saving seeing the three uh, input parameters which is you need to pass the python whichever the version you are using chrome path and the targeted version 64 r86 Minus 64 and the first version is Python 336. So now, once this is this is done, now I need to load the Python script which I have uh, in my project, which is .py. I'm just passing the same thing, or you can directly click on here and uh, choose the same here, Python .py. Then you can directly go pass script here, but I'm passing the file entire file and and get a result of OPA Python instance. So Python instance is nothing but a Python object variable type. And once this is done, we can have invoke Python code method. Python method, sorry. So in the property one, as you can see, I'm uh, this is uh, as I told you earlier, as uh, this is uh, extracting other car informations so i need to pass my input so my input is nothing but the image so input parameters i'm passing it as a uh, innumerable of collections objects yeah um, so this is my image file which is defined it in variables as you can see here jpeg and uh, instance whatever we have got this from this one or this is the output of load python script and i'm passing the same here and i'm calling the main function which is uh which, which calls uh in daco so i'm calling the function here and storing the result in python method so which is also type of uh, python object and once this is done once we are clear with that we manage, we manage this and uh, we are using get python object so i'm passing the input as uh, from this output which is nothing but python method i'm passing it as input and whatever the result we are getting so whatever let's say in this uh, i'm extracting other card number on the date of birth it is uh, a list of collections right so i'm just uh, um yeah i'm uh, extracting the entire value so in this time in this scenario I'm extracting with the um, name and key value something like that uh, sorry for that um, so here um, let's say I have other card is equal to other number is equal to one two three four five and I'm extracting this I'm, and you need to make sure that the output type of your Python script is matching the same here so mine is a dictionary of string string and collection of dictionary string and I'm sure storing the same in a result like it's a list of this dictionary. And you need to create that by going. Let me show you a list of dictionary. Can directly let's see. Uh, can click on browse of types. Let's say list of. Yeah, this one 
list of dictionary browse another one dictionary of key and values here and you can search for a string man is such a string one click okay click okay now we have the same thing here and there so this is my uh, so basically my output is uh, let's say i have uh, the number is equal to one two three four or the name is equal to xyz and date of birth is equal to uh, whatever so i'll be storing in a list of dictionary so this is how it goes and and if you want to print uh, I'm, I'm just printing the entire thing and joining the string as a list of dictionary and printing the first one first value yeah that's it guys thanks so much if, uh, if possible i'm going to upload this xaml file and share the share the link in the description thank you